Welcome back to PT's RC Need for Speed. We are back at an interview now, not a podcast. So I'm, I'm a little bit more at home here. If you did watch the podcast, you should. Uh, I'm here with James Duvall today. Thank you for doing this. Appreciate it. Uh, let's just jump right into this interview. So why did you start RC racing? I uh, had a buddy that uh, actually got me into RC cars back when I was about 14 years old or so. Really loved it. He used to race, um, and eventually I started racing a little bit. Um, like I said, done it about 19 years ago is when I quit, uh, when my son was born. Um, haven't really done it since, but I, I loved it. It was fun. Uh, so coming back to it and seeing it, just, yeah, it sparked it, and it's like, got to have one. Got to get back into it. Now... How long have you been racing for? Um, so I, back then I have done it for, I want to say at least only about two years, two, three years, something like that. And yeah, just getting back into it, started what, back in the spring a little bit. Um, haven't done a whole lot over the summer and hopefully trying to get a little more going this season and really getting back into it. but. Of course, my wife is like, you don't spend money, so it makes it a little hard to go racing. <laughs> yeah. What do you like most about RC racing? Uh, it, it's just good people a lot of times. You know, you don't have the beating and banging of the big cars. The guys really get serious into it, but there's a lot of cash in there. There is cash into this, yeah. Um, yeah. and there can be the headbutts and all that, but usually it's just... You know, fun, come out, have a good time, be friends, you know, share secrets and, you know, little things like that and it just it makes it fun. Yeah. What classes do you run? Uh, I run one-tenth scale late model, hoping to eventually move up into Midwest Modified also. Do you remember what you did uh, all those years ago? Uh, I raced um, stadium truck, off-road stadium truck. Did a little bit of touching with the uh, touring cars, um, and that was about the time I got out of it, was I just got my touring car and just playing around with it, so didn't race with it a whole lot. So. Which class is your favorite to run? Have you ever, uh, I guess, driven the Midwest Mods yet? Uh, I have drove a Midwest Mod, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I could tell the difference in the handling between the late model and the Midwest. So that's why I'm kind of hoping to get into that one because I think it'll be just as fun, if not more fun. Do you, which one do you prefer, the late model or the Midwest? Well, without being able to fully race a Midwest so far, but I may have to go with the Midwest because when I did run the one, I had a lot more fun with it. It did go a lot smoother. Is there anything in particular you like about PTs? I know you said you haven't been here a whole lot, maybe since about spring, but uh, anything you really like? It's just, it, it, you know, one, it's real close to home for me. I only live about four blocks away, so it is close by. But, you know, it's just the, the families that all runs it, everything, and, you know, it's not just them. Everyone's pretty much family here. So it, it just makes it so nice. Uh, they have a great facility going, um, you know, and always trying to get more and more stuff in, uh, opening it up a lot more. It, it's, it's just definitely a fun place to come to and a great crowd to get along with. Again, you haven't been racing for very long, but is there anything you would think you would change about the sport? Hobby, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if there'd be anything I could change, but I might have to, I mean, so much has changed in the 19 years. It's hard for me to keep up. Uh, you know, electronics are so much different. These cars have so much adjustability. I mean, it, it really takes a lot of thinking to get these things dialed in. And, you know, it, it, and that's one thing I love doing. I've always been that way. Um, I love to fix things and love to make things go, you know, just better. Not always necessarily faster on a car, but just everything just make it better. And being 
somewhat of a beginner after 19 years uh, getting restarted into it. Is there any advice you would have to anyone else that's just kind of getting started? That, that's a hard one. Um, it's definitely, you know, like I said, even after 19 years, I got to play with a car, you know, someone let me drive, that was set up and everything that it just made it smooth. Oh, no problem. But always remember, you've got to learn to set your own car up. There's plenty of people to help you with it, um, but it will take some time to get there. So just don't get frustrated. Just sit back, think about it a little bit, and ask questions. Um, you know, I'm my car is just somewhat getting better, and I basically have just asked questions and, you know, never really thought about the, even the advances in the controller. YouTube is a good uh, tool also. You know, videos on a lot of stuff and everything like that, and so far it's helped me a lot. Alrighty, Need for Speed fans, you'll know this session quite well. I don't think James here does. <laughs> we are jumping into the lightning round. Lightning round. So, what is the first real, full-size, one-to-one scale car that you had? 79 Monte Carlo. Ooh, that's what my buggy shoot stocks model off of. Who's your favorite race car driver? Uh, I was always a good Gordon fan. All right. Pepsi or Coke? Oh, Pepsi. Cake or pie? Both, but cake. <laughs> dog or cat? Uh, dog. Pancake or waffle? Uh, I'm more of a waffle guy. What's your favorite pizza topping? Uh, sausage, definitely. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Wow, there's so many of them. But I would have to go with... Um, White Earth is one of my favorite ones. Uh, I just get fascinated with that movie. So even Tombstone, you know, the... Two oh, yeah. different characters. Oh, I just yeah. get fascinated with that. Tombstone is, I know, one of my dad's favorites. Uh, being where we are located, Cubs or Cardinals? Looking a little worried here. Kid, I was a Cardinals adult. I've become more of a Cubs fan. All right. Now, the most important question on this list, arguably, is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I usually go with a vegetable. I don't eat it as a fruit. We're done here. <laughs> I guess I have to be nice for an outro, though. Uh, thank you, James. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for tuning in to PT's RC Need for Speed. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.